Hello everyone. How are you all doing? Today, I'm excited to show you a feature of the WP Media Folder plugin that can streamline how you manage and secure your WordPress media library. I'll demonstrate how to set user role-based access restrictions on your WordPress media and explain the benefits of using this feature. Wondering why this is so important? Imagine this situation, you and a coworker are using the same media library in WordPress. Usually, everyone's files are mixed together, creating a disorganized and risky environment. Imagine if someone accidentally deletes an important file that doesn't belong to them. That's definitely something none of us want, right? So, let's get started and explore how this WP Media Folder feature can transform your media library into a more organized, secure, and efficient space. Sure thing. So, first off, head over to the Media Access section within the WP Media Folder settings. Here, you'll find various options related to access limitations. The primary setting is Media Access by User or User Role. When enabled, every user or user role in your WordPress setup gets their own folder for uploading media files. Additionally, there's the display of all media in the User Folder option, which is totally up to you. If you prefer users not to see media uploaded by others, keep this option turned off. Now, let's jump back to your media library. To set up access limitations for a folder, right-click on it and select Permissions. Here, you have two choices, by role or by user. I'll focus on demonstrating the role option for now. When I select a role, I can adjust the permissions they'll have within that folder. With these permissions granted, they can view, move, delete, upload new media, and create subfolders inside it. I have the flexibility to tweak these permissions, say, restricting them to only viewing media and creating subfolders without the ability to move or delete anything else. Furthermore, I can add another role to adjust their permission settings here. But let's see how these altered permissions work in action. Alright, so I made some adjustments to the permissions within the editor role previously. Now, let's log into an editor account and see how those changes impact my interaction with that folder. In the editor's library, there are two folders, one designated for the editor and the other where I altered permissions earlier. The editor can still view this folder and its media content but can't relocate it to another folder since I didn't grant them that permission. The only allowance I provided for the editor role is to view the media. So, any attempt to move, delete, or upload a file will trigger a notice indicating they don't have permission for those actions. Additionally, remember earlier when I enabled the Display All Media in User Folders setting? That means every user can see all the media uploaded by others in their respective folders. However, WP Media Folder offers a filtering feature. One of these options is Display Only My Own Media. When activated, only your personnel files are visible, hiding other users' files. It's a handy way to keep things organized and private within your own workspace. To summarize, let's discuss the pricing for this integration. The amazing feature showcased earlier is available in the WordPress Media Folder plugin. This plugin not only offers the discussed functionality but also includes useful features like cloud connectors for Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive. Additionally, it's compatible with popular third-party plugins such as DD Builder, Gutenberg, and Elementor. For more information on the additional add-ons, you can check out the link description below. The plugin's main features are available for $49. However, if you want to access the gallery and photographer add-in, you'll need to upgrade to the $69 option, which also includes cloud integration, allowing you to connect to various cloud services. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any question using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a nice day, bye.